times when we have to refuse some offers, especially about food or an outing with friends, it gets really embarrassing to say no. But thankfully, we have got some nice ways to softly refuse something without hurting anyone. Let's imagine that you have to go for a dinner and your friends invite you and you have to give them a reason for not going. You have different ways of telling them no without hurting them. And those are the ways that you're going to learn with me today. So keep watching this lesson with me. My name is Michelle. No, no. So here we start. No, no, no. If you say no or I can't, it's very rude. At least it's not friendly. So if you're invited for dinner coming Friday with your friends and you say, mm, no, thank you, or I can't come, it doesn't sound very friendly, right? So how should you say? Well, the first thing that you can do is you can apologize for not being able to go for the dinner for whatever reason it is. So the first step is, Apology. I'm sorry, I can't come. So the first step is apology. So you can say, I'm sorry, I can't come. But do you think your friends will be happy to hear only that? Because they are your friends, you might want to add some more information to not let them feel too bad. So you could say, I'd love to, which means that you're showing how you would like to be a part of that dinner and how you would enjoy it, but you are in a situation where you can't make it, you're compelled or forced not to be there. I'm sorry, I can't come, I'd, though I'd love to come. So here you're showing that you would love to do it, but you just can't. So here I'd love to show that you're interested. So step one is apology and step two is to show that you're interested. Step three would be to show that you appreciate or you thank them for asking you to join them for the dinner because they have taken that effort to call you and they thought about you. So you're very thankful for that. So you could say, that sounds great, but I can't come. So to complete this, you could say, I'm sorry, I can't come, although I'd love to, or that sounds great, but I'm sorry, I can't come. So that sounds great shows that you appreciate or you are thanking them. You really like the plan, but you just can't make it. Another way to say this would be, it's a really great invitation. Okay, so this is step three, which means that you want to thank them. So we have apology, we are showing interest, we are appreciating the fact that they called us, but there's one more thing that we need to do, and that is to give a reason that why are we not able to go. And that you can do by saying that you're busy, if you are, or you have another valid reason, you can put that. But I'm just suggesting some reasons. One of them could be, I'm busy. Another reason could be, I already fixed a meeting with an old colleague. So that's another reason. Or you could also say, I'm not in town this Friday. And when you say this, you're giving a reason, which is step four, for saying no. Okay, now let's look at the next one. And this is a very crucial step. To show that you're really interested, you should say, another time, I would love to come. So here you're saying that if they make another plan in the future, you would love to join. So you could say another time, okay? Or you could also say, if you arrange such a meeting again, then I'd love to join. So another time shows your interest 
in future plants, which is step five. So shall we try to form a sentence out of this, a full sentence or a full conversation? So you could say, I'm sorry, I can't come, although I would love to, and this sounds like a great plan, but I'm really busy, and another time if you make such a plan, I'd love to join. So this is how you can gently say no for a plan. Saying no for a plan. Another area where you would often have to say no is for food, when you've had enough already and you can't eat any more. So if someone is offering you a food dish and you just can't eat it, the best way would be to say, no thank you. But again, only this much might sound rude. So you could say, no thank you, I've already eaten, if that is true. But this always works. So this looks like an ex uh, a reason, a good reason, not an excuse. So you give a reason and you say, no thank you, I've already eaten. And it's always a good idea to tell them how much you would love to eat it or to compliment uh, the food that you really like it. You could say, no thank you, I've already eaten, it looks delicious. Do you think something is missing here? Yeah, one word. No thank you, I've already eaten, it looks delicious though. So you'll add the word though at the end. It almost plays the function of the word even. So no thank you, I've already eaten, though, although it looks delicious or it looks delicious though. If you use although, that will be at the beginning and if you use though, that will be at the end. Now we look at the last one. What if someone is serving you the second time? So if you want to say no to the second time that someone is serving you, you could say, no thank you, it looks delicious though, but I couldn't manage more, which means I cannot eat anymore. So when you say no to food, start with no thank you or I've already eaten if you have and if you haven't eaten or you have eaten, you could always add a compliment for this food by saying it looks delicious and at the same time if you cannot eat beyond a point for a second serving, you could say I cannot eat anymore or I couldn't manage anymore. I couldn't manage anymore is a very softer way of saying no to a second serving of food. So these are the expressions that you can use to talk about food, to say no to food. So here we have looked at some very interesting expressions to say no politely. The first few expressions that we saw were essentially about saying no to a plan. So if somebody invites you for a dinner or for a party and you just cannot go, for any reason, you can follow all these points, you could apologize. You could say that you're really interested, but you can't come, and that it's a good invitation. You could thank them and give them a valid reason for not being able to make it. If you want to say no to food, you could obviously say that you've already eaten, no thank you, and compliment their food while saying that you can't eat anymore or you can't stuff anymore. I really hope that your day and your coming days, the whole week, will be filled with really nice offers and that you can take up most of them. But if you have to at all, at all say no to any offer, then here are the ways, use them and let me know if they worked for you. Thank you for watching this lesson with me. Just to remind you, we have another channel, Skillopedia. Do go and see my videos over Skillopedia. And don't forget to subscribe to that channel. Thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you have a great time ahead. Bye-bye.